good morning you guys welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is kaylee i just woke up and did a bit of a morning routine i didn't work out this morning i just had a slow morning it was my rest day so i just made some breakfast did a bit of my morning rituals um yeah i don't know it's more of like a chill morning which was kind of nice um, this morning I do have to record my podcast, so I'm just getting ready now, changing into just some comfies um, to do that. But I thought we could film like a little day in my life. I have a bunch of stuff going on today, just like running some errands, going to the grocery store. I desperately need to get my nails done, which I mentioned in my previous video how bad my nails are right now. And it just like, I desperately need to get them done. So gonna do that today. Um, I also need to wash my hair at some point, probably do that tonight maybe so just a lot going on today so i thought i would take you guys along with me but right now we're going to record my podcast i'm doing the episode about 20 things that i've learned in my 20s so i'm quite excited about that but i if you guys didn't know i have a podcast um i will link it down below it's called the hot girl energy podcast and i post weekly and yeah so anyways we're gonna get ready for that right now record that and get this day started <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Hawk Girl Energy Podcast. Hello you guys, it is currently like 1 o'clock. I did not think my podcast was going to take as long as it did. I literally recorded an hour episode and then I edited it right after. Um, made lunch and now we're here. Um, on my way to get my nails done, as I mentioned, desperate need of getting them done. So we're going to do that and then... Um, I'm hoping to get grocery shopping done afterwards, but I don't know if I'll have time because I have a uh, doctor's appointment at 3.15. So it all depends on how long my nails take. So we're in a bit of a crunch, but if I can hit, I just like don't like to go to the grocery store at night because none of the good stuff is out. Like typically it's all out, you know, during the day and in the morning and then typically they don't replenish anything after like 4 p.m. So I don't really see a point in forcing myself to go if like none of the produce or anything that's gonna be fresh, but I still need to get my butt to the grocery store this week. So we're gonna get our nails done, see how much time we have, and then go from there. Hello you guys, it is the next day. I ended up leaving my camera in the car and totally forgot to film the rest of my evening. Didn't even get to show you guys my nails or nothing, so I apologize for that. So we have decided to change the video from a day of my life to a few days of my life. But anyways, um, like I said, it's the next day. I just had lunch and now I'm about to go to the grocery store. I also wanna get a Starbucks. I haven't had a coffee today, but I'm just gonna get a decaf because I'm just craving coffee. Um, but lately I've been trying to do more decaf lately just because of my anxiety. I feel like when I have a caffeinated drink, even if it's just one, depending on the day, sometimes um, my anxiety just spikes like really, really badly. So I've been trying to do like on and off days where like some days I do decaf and some days I do um, caffeine. So yeah. That's what I've been doing lately. But anyways, I'm going to change because I'm just still in my workout clothes. I did a workout this morning and all that. So I want to change out of it. And yeah, like my camera is so cold right now. The lens, I had to like wait probably 15 minutes until it was not foggy because it was so cold in my car that the lens literally just got all foggy. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna get changed. Here are the nails that I got done yesterday. I'm so obsessed. I think they turned out so good just with the cute little white hearts and like different spots and yeah pinterest just inspired me and i thought it was super subtle and like nothing too crazy like the um, plain coat of the nail polish is just bubble bath um by opi and then just literally white polish to do the hearts so i think it looks super neutral and i love them okay so now i'm just gonna quickly run to the grocery store and go to starbucks but I thought I would quickly show you guys my outfit. I got this sweater a few months ago, but I literally wear it all the time and I'm obsessed with it. It's the Aritzia Perfect Crew Neck in this like, I think it's whispering white. It's like an off white. And then these jeans, I've talked about them so much. I'm pretty sure 
um, with you guys before, but they are the Bella Low Rise Girlfriend Denim jeans from Revolve. I love these so much. I just think they're the perfect flare, the perfect fit, like not too tight around the waist, like just like a little big, but they're my favorite jeans and I love the wash as well and I'm loving the dark denim lately. So anyways, let's go to the grocery store, get some produce and all that and get a coffee. lineup was super long for the drive-thru so i ended up going inside just because it was easier um this is the order that i've been typically getting every time i go to starbucks i get the tall iced chicken espresso and then i sub it with oat milk and then instead of classic syrup i do white mocha and this time i did a decap as i said just because it's literally 1 30 and i just know that i'll be up all night if i have a caffeinated drink so oh my god so good they did also just come out with a new flavor but uh no <laughs> i literally didn't know what i was saying there pistachio cold foam i don't know how i feel about pistachio let me know if you guys have tried it i've seen a few influencers say good things about it but I was gonna order it and then I was like, oh, I don't want it to be shit. So I'm just gonna stick with <laughs> my usual order. But anyways, let me know if you guys have tried the pistachio because it looks good, but I'm unsure. But anyways, we're gonna go to the grocery store because I desperately need food. Just got home from the grocery store and i just thought i would do a little grocery haul not very little it's pretty big i will say though that all of this was 200 dollars, which i feel like it's kind of fair i know like sometimes i go to the grocery store and i'm like that was way too much like why was it that expensive but i feel like i got a lot of good staples and i feel like 200 dollars is pretty average for zach and i like typically it's between 2 to 230 for the week it might be expensive to some people, but when you're like literally feeding a six foot four guy who literally eats for two and then me, <laughs> you kind of got to expect that it's going to be somewhat expensive. But um, let's start with produce. I got chicken and then I got another one as well. I just put it in the freezer. Strawberries, celery, cheese. Um, we're going to be doing fish tacos this week. So I just got the mini tortilla shells and then coleslaw. Zach has been craving jam, so I picked up jam. I think I'll probably have some too because it's always nice to have like peanut butter and jam on bread. Uh, balsamic for like salads, like as a salad dressing. Chocolate, you guys know my addiction to chocolate. Graham crackers, granola bars, frozen broccoli. This is actually for Freddie. I usually buy fresh um, broccoli for like Zach and I, and I also got some Brussels sprouts for us. But anyways, Freddie loves broccoli. That's a weird fact about him. So I always give him broccoli for dinner with like some type of protein. Um, back to the Brussels sprouts. I have been obsessed with Brussels sprouts lately. I don't know what it is. I think it's the way I'm cooking it. I'll show you guys, um, maybe in this video, if we make it tonight or tomorrow night, um, how I make my Brussels sprout recipe. It is so good guys. Like I'm telling you, you will love Brussels sprouts. Like I hated Brussels sprouts the longest time. And then I made this recipe and it's a game changer. So that's my current obsession. My favorite tortilla chips, um, some pasta sauce for like pita pizza or if Zach needs like a quick lunch idea, just throw in some pasta, honey, cherry tomatoes because we have been loving tomato soup with the grilled cheese. So we like to do that. More cherry tomatoes if I want like tomatoes in a sandwich or something for lunch, eggs, cocoa nibs for breakfast, blueberries, spinach, Olive oil spray so for non-stick, avocados, apples, hummus, Zach's hummus, my hummus, pasta, cream cheese, and then I think this is the tartar sauce for the fish tacos. So that's everything that I got. I feel like that's a pretty decent amount. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put all this away in the fridge and then get some work done. 
Hey guys, it has been a while. It is the next week. I ended up not filming YouTube for the past few days. I've been super busy with work and yeah, I just didn't have the time to whip up the camera, unfortunately. So here we are whipping out the camera. Today is Friday, February, I want to say 10th. I am just about to go get a spray tan. I just threw on this Andalou set. I literally got this a few weeks ago, but it shrunk in the wash. So I was really sad about that. But when I go get spray tans, I don't like to wear anything that's like, you know, <laughs> not like this isn't nice, but because this is shrunk, like the sweater shrunk, I'm never really going to wear it again. So it's now going to be my spray tan fit. So we're just going to go to spray tan. I'm doing a whole kind of like prep today for my best friend's engagement party. Um, it's her engagement party tomorrow, so I have a bunch of running around to do today, so I thought I would take you guys with me, but, um, I was gonna start a new vlog, but I was like, I don't wanna, like, make that footage go to waste from last week that I filmed, so we're just gonna make this into a few days in my life, but let's go get a spray tan. <laughs> Right, guys I just got my tan and I look so dark already it's amazing how like immediate it sets in but I'm already so obsessed um but I'm just about to head back home now I'm gonna make coffee um probably place a few orders for my trip I'm going to Mexico literally in I think like 10 days so less than a week now and I'm so excited but um I need to order a few more things like last minute things like sunscreen all that so I'm going to do that and yeah probably make some lunch and then I have to get my car in for service so if you guys are from the pod you guys know that I had really serious car issues um last weekend like my battery was dying it wasn't turning on whatever so I have to bring it to the shop today. I got the battery change, which is good. Um, my boyfriend just did it, but there's a service light on. So I'm praying it's just like an oil change. I hate when my car has to go in for service. It's like so stressful. <laughs> so I'm hoping everything's fine. And then I also am going to get my eyebrows waxed because I haven't got my eyebrows done in so long. But yeah, just like a lot of like running around today and just errands. And then I'm so excited tonight. My sister and I are doing like a little Galentine's um night so i'll take you guys along with that but it's gonna be an exciting day i'm just like looking forward to a nice day it's been super gloomy out today and thank you guys so much for the last video just how everyone is feeling the same way about like being in a funk and just like feeling kind of down it, it's nice to know that like i'm not the only one feeling this way and yeah i just like I've, what i've been trying to do is i've been trying to include like fun things and productive things that like I can look forward to and you know not worry about the weather being so gloomy out and all that um yeah I don't know I'm just trying to keep myself like busy and occupied because I think that's working and it's you know making me feel good versus like being all sad <laughs> and in the gloomy weather so anyways I'm gonna start driving now and we're gonna yeah get home and make a coffee Okay, I just got home a few minutes ago and I got a few PR packages at my door and thought I would show you guys what I got. I'm really excited about this one specifically. Charlotte Tilbury sent me their new blushes and I am so obsessed. I'm really excited to try the Pillow Talk and Pink Pop. The Dream Pop and Peach Pop I feel like might not be nice for my skin tones but still worth the try but... I'm so excited. So thank you so much, Charlotte Tilbury, for sending me that. It's still, like, always is a pinch me moment when I get, like, PR packages like this. And I think they also sent me, like, their new powdered blushes as well. Like, this one here, I think, is also, yeah, Pillow Talk. Might also be a highlight. I don't know. Oh, to make your eyes pop. It's for your eyes. Wow. Maybe I should actually read the box. Yeah, see, it's easy color to make your eyes pop. So... That's super exciting. So very excited to test this stuff out. And then 
Drunk Elephant sent me some stuff, which is so cute. They sent me this um, whipping cream, which I've tried before. It's really, really good if you have dry skin. I highly recommend it. And then I think this is new, their baby facial. I've never tried it before, so I'm excited to try that. And then look how cute this headband is. They sent me like a little headband to put on when I'm doing my skincare to keep my hair out of my face and all that. And it's so flipping cute. So thank you, Drunk Elephant, for sending me that. But again, always so grateful to receive packages like this. Okay, off to destination number two. I think I've changed my outfit probably three times today already, and it's only one o'clock. But anyways, um, we are going to drop off my car for service, as I mentioned, and then I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. I didn't really have a lunch, so I think I'm gonna stop at Booster Juice and just get like a protein smoothie or something just because I wasn't really craving, you know like those days where it's just like you don't know what you want for lunch? So I had like a bit of a salad. And then I had like hummus and pita and like obviously that's not enough for lunch. So I think I'm gonna get a protein smoothie from Boosted Juice just because I'm craving it. And I need some something just to fuel me because I definitely don't have enough food in me, but we're gonna go do that. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Okay, I just got our booster juice orders and with Zach because he picked me up from the car dealership and I got Zach the strawberry storm protein smoothie they changed their whole menu oh really they don't have like mango hurricane anymore they had this one which was called bang bango burst which is this one that I got I don't know why this is slanted but anyways ready it's actually pretty good it's very banana-y here, try this one. <laughs> Ready! Okay, enough. Let me take, can I show yours? Mm. Mm. I like yours. Oh, I wish I added strawberries. <laughs> Fred's just in the middle. I like yours better, but whatever. I put coconut water in mine, but I like the strawberries. What the hell did you do to mine? Next time I'm gonna get this and add strawberries, but this is, I think this has banana. I want to say banana, pineapple, gyva, coconut water, and then protein powder. So it's like pretty low sugar, which is good. What, gyva? What is it? G-U-V-A? Guava? Guava. Guava. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's me mispronouncing something. They all know that I mispronounce stuff like all I didn't know what you were trying to say. I was confused. Anyways, it's fine. It's good, but next time I'm gonna add strawberries because I think it would make it better. I find strawberries and smoothies just makes everything better, but off to my eyebrow appointment. Hey guys, I just got back from my eyebrow appointment and they turned out so good. I always love getting my eyebrows done like like I don't know, I just feel like eyebrows make such a big difference on your face. It blows my mind like every time when I get them freshly done, I'm like it just yeah. It just shocks me how much it makes a difference just having them freshly waxed. And then a spray tan update. I did already take a shower and just wash my spray tan off. And I think the color is absolutely perfect. I didn't want to go too dark. Um, but also, if you guys are from Ottawa, definitely check out Brighter by Brit. She does teeth whitening as well as spray tans. And she's amazing. I always love the way... My spray tans turn out when I go to her, but yeah. So I'm hoping this dies down by like next week, like Wednesday or Thursday, because I do want to actually hit the tanning bed before I head on my trip. I know tanning beds are not the greatest. Trust me, I'm I don't I don't ever go at all, but I really don't want to burn on my trip. And obviously, the sun in Mexico is extremely strong, so I'm gonna do at least probably three appointments if not four before I leave every like second day just so that I have a bit of a base and that I don't burn because that would be way worse to get a burn um, when I'm down there so I'm just hoping this tan comes off if not I'll exfoliate probably on Wednesday or Thursday and then yeah because the trip's coming by so fast and let me know if you guys want me to film like maybe what I eat in a day on vacation or anything like that or just like you know my mornings um in my life's on vacation whatever like I wasn't sure if I was gonna bring my vlog camera or not on the trip but let me know comment down below but I'm definitely gonna be filming some TikToks and um reels and all that so but 
let me know if you guys want to bring my vlog camera because I can do that as well. But anyways, I'm just going to get a bit of work done. Um, my sister's coming over in a bit. Probably going to make some dinner as well. Um, but yeah, we're having a fun little Valentine's night. So I'm excited to have a girls night with her. But for now, I'm just going to catch up on some work. And yeah.